Hello, we are a team of five mechanical engineering seniors at Drexel University. Recent progress in multi-rotor aerial vehicle control systems has captured the imagination of many students and engineers. For our senior design project, we decided to address the need we saw in the design process of quadcopter control systems. A common challenge faced is modeling the quadcopter's flight dynamics and creating a useful simulation. We wanted to make this process easier. Our mission statement was as follows. Design a practical quadcopter characterization process and configurable simulation to aid control system designers. We chose to make extensive use of MATLAB and Simulink as this environment offered unparalleled power, flexibility, and user convenience. We'll begin with a look at the mathematics. These are the flight dynamic state equations we're using. Note that this system of equations takes four inputs in the form of rotor RPM and has 12 outputs representing states of the vehicle. Shown highlighted are the parameters we will be measuring. These parameters correspond to equations describing thrust and torque as a function of RPM and RPM as a function of both throttle command and time. We developed test systems that allow easy data collection for finding these parameters. Shown here is an example of a test setup. Data is sent in real time to the computer from an Arduino Uno. This data is imported to MATLAB with a simple copy-paste command. We provide a convenient GUI to run analysis functions we've created to analyze the data. Shown here are the automatically generated plots obtained by filling in the relevant details and clicking the Run button. Now we have the performance coefficients. We simply need to estimate the mass moment of inertia matrix for the vehicle. We created a convenient GUI to make this process easy and to allow for the quadcopter's performance parameters to be saved within a MATLAB structure. Now we are ready to simulate. Shown here is our simplest Simulink model, an attitude control model. Notice the GUI-like appearance. The gray blocks are used as buttons for calling convenient functions, and the other blocks contain various subsystems. For example, the attitude control block contains four PID controllers for pitch, roll, yaw, and altitude. These can be tuned through a convenient mask, or we can look inside to change the controller structure. Of course, users can create any type of control system they want to test within the simulation. Next, we see the control mixing block. Here, a switch is used to select control signal mixing based on the configuration the quadcopter is being flown in, plus or X. Next, we have the quadcopter dynamics block. This first block accomplishes several things, but primarily includes a conversion from throttle command to rotor RPM. These four RPM values are fed into a level 2 S function block written in MATLAB code. This is where the flight dynamic state equations are calculated. The MATLAB code format makes it easy for users to add additional effects or calculations to their simulation. For example, we added external disturbances as an input to the block when we wanted to see how the controller responded to external forces. The results of the simulation are sent to the workspace as an array, and we provide two convenient methods for analysis. The first are simple plots of all 12 state variables and command inputs, along with the four motor speeds. These can be difficult to interpret sometimes though, so we created an animation GUI that provides a more intuitive view of the simulation results. Here we see the quadcopter's attitude on the left and its position on the right. We can pan the view, snap to view planes, or skip to a time of interest in the simulation. We also created a position control system model, which allows the vehicle to respond to X, Y, Z, and yaw position commands. Here our controller is shown flying the quadcopter through a simple pattern, which can be seen in the state plots, but is most easily visualized using the animation GUI. The usefulness of our simulation was verified by implementing a real attitude command tracking control system on our quadcopter. We used an Arduino Duo microprocessor running a control program we wrote, and a 3-axis gyro and accelerometer as our sensor. We created a customized version of our simulation to model things like sensor and command sampling rates, signal quantization effects, and state estimation filtering schemes. We found our Simulink model was invaluable in tuning our control system, and we think users will find it's a great starting point for their quadcopter control project or research. Here, our quadcopter control system is shown in the 3 degree of freedom test frame we designed. Using PID gains tuned in Simulink, it tracks 10 degree pitch, 10 degree roll, and 90 degree yaw commands from a transmitter. Here the control system can be seen reacting to an external load and can re-achieve a level attitude thanks to the integral feedback. We will be making all of our documentation, test system designs, MATLAB GUIs, and Simulink models available online for free download at the following address. We look forward to the continued development of our modeling process and MATLAB and Simulink programs by the multi community and hope you'll share your feedback with us. Thanks for watching.